Cristiano Ronaldo, yes! Yes! David Beckham has done it, big time! Seba, welcome. Cheers, hello. Mate, uh, we've had a very good response from Saka last week. Uh, he spoke open and honestly about everything we wanted to talk about. Yeah, Saka was awesome. He was exactly like Flea. Uh, I think two peas from the same pod. His, his Dunga story still gets me. Oh, the Bobcat. Oh, the Bobcat. It's, uh, it's so good. But uh, look, let's, let's not waste any time. Um, again, this episode is brought to you by Ignify Legal. Buying or selling your property and needing expert legal advice. Contact Ian and the team from Ignify Legal on 8823. Double three zero nine, and Ian, we can't thank you and the team enough, pal. So uh, perfect. Now, without further ado, we have one of our we have one of our uh, special guests from our f- earlier episodes in the once king of Mykonos, Flea. Flea, welcome, pal. Thanks for coming back in, man. Once was. That's you. I'm, I'm very old now. Nah, come on, man. Now, you have with you today a, uh, a very special guest that uh, we wanted to get on, uh, and we're going to leave it with you to introduce our special guest sitting at the end there. Not a problem, not a problem. First, I'll, I'll, I'll thank uh, Ian for sponsoring your show. He's, he's, a, he's a great guy, actually. I've used him to do some some work for my dad before he passed away. So uh, if you're looking for a lawyer, he's a great guy and he's very efficient and, and thorough. He's a go-getter and, and his company, I can't say anything like that. They were, they were amazing. So Ian, um, if you want a lawyer, he's a man, Ignify, they're, they're good people. We may need that. <laughs> That's why we, it's good to have him on board. We may yeah, need it. He, you, he's very good. Let's just say that. And he sponsors the Hurstville City Minotaurs over 45 team. He gets himself around. He's a, he comes and meets the players after. And all our boys are using him for our wheels because we're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting old. All right. All right. No further ado, Flea. Let's get into it. Well, okay. I'll say one thing, please, Flea. Congratulations on hitting 1,000 views. <laughs> for your episode three podcast, uh, we, had one. we had something special planned for you, but uh, we haven't pulled that off. But it was unbelievable. The response was absolutely amazing, and thank you very much for sharing it on your socials and that. It was brilliant. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. So I'm, I'm sure Tsekka will, will hit a thousand easy. Don't worry. He's uh, he's got a great story to tell. I can't wait to listen. It's tonight, isn't it? Yep. Seven o'clock. Lo- yep. On my drive home, I'll I'll put Tsekka on, even though I, I hear him every day. I'll have a listen to him tonight. Yeah, good. Um, brilliant. You want me to introduce? Absolutely. Who we got? Who we got, Flea? Okay. okay. Well, he's a very well known person in this country amongst the football people. Uh, let's just say the whole world knows um, Andrew. Andrew, he wants to be known as. We were calling him Andrea earlier, and he, he absolutely <laughs> nearly belted me. <laughs> oh, he's going to kick me out of the car. Stop calling me Andrea. I'm Andrew. I go, all right, Andrew, Andrew. The legend of uh, Sydney Olympic, the one and only. There is no one else who can surpass him. He's their number one supporter. He's been with the club for how many years, Andrew? 57. 57, 57. Wow. years. He's been their main vocal man. He's When you walk into a ground and you hear Andrew, you you know, you're at an Olympic match. I, I've got a great story. Uh, my, my very first Sydney Olympic game, I was... I just changed schools. I was expelled and I'd gone to a new <laughs> school and I met some guys there and they say, we play soccer, you know. I go, oh, no, I play rugby league. They go, no, nah, we're going to watch Olympic. I go, Olympic, what's that? They go, well, it's soccer. So I go, all right. They, their dad came and picked me up, you know. I got in the back of this um, Ford... Uh, station wagon, we were sitting in the back, no belts those days, we're just sitting in the back, we get there to the ground and I'm looking, there's like thousands of people wearing blue and white and screaming. So what yeah. ground, mate? Barton Park, St George Barton Stadium. Park. <laughs> so we, we get there to the ground, we sit down, I was, I was probably about... In my element. <laughs> yeah, I was probably about 16. Uh, and you know, we sit and the dad, he was sitting there, Converis, me, Michael and his brother Tom, who's not with us anymore, we were just sitting there, three of us, and then this guy walks past, you know, with the, the big glasses. He, he, he was a strong-looking man. I go, who's this guy? They go, that's Andrea. <laughs> and he started howling. We are blue, we are white, we are dynamite. Da, 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 da. And he just kept going. He had all these songs. And 
take me to Venus, take me to Mars. What's that one you sing? God, you <laughs> oh, come, come on, come on, on, come, on, on yeah. come on. That's not mine, sorry. That's I someone else's. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, yeah, sorry, that's not mine. All right, all right. You sing them songs for us later on. <laughs> so, you know, I got my first experience of Andrea and um, I was like thrown back, you know. And then over the years we got to know each other, we became friends. Um, we don't live in the same areas, but we love the game. So, you know, I was a big Sydney Olympic fan as a kid. I'm a, I'm a proud Westie. He's a <laughs> proud Westie. Ah, yeah, so, uh, you know, um, as we got older, we got to see each other a lot. Um, I've got a great story I want to say. We, my first time to the Marconi Club. Like, I'd come with the same family. We went there and then uh, we, we, we go into... A thousand people at this go upstairs? Yes, yeah, yeah. he knows about yeah, it. So yeah, let, yeah. let me tell the story. You sit down. <laughs> so, so I'm getting excited. So, <laughs> so we, we, we get in there. We get in there and, and there goes a dance comp on. And, like, you know, I'm like 18. I'm thinking, dance comp. And he goes, I'm going in it. <laughs> Where are you going to go in? So, so they're lining up the people to go in this dance comp and they're putting them up on stage and they're like, they're dancing. And then this guy, he runs and he does a massive knee slide like he scored a goal. And he's done a knee slide and he's got his arms like that and he starts dancing and I'll let you take the rest. Go. Peter, Peter uh, I said to Peter, I'm going in it and I'm going to win it. <laughs> Did he win? Yeah, he no, won it. No, I, I love dancing. I've always loved dancing. Soccer first, dancing second. Yeah. All women and then a bit later. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got up there, he's won this dance comp. Yeah. Like, he's done the knee slide, then he's got the Johnny <laughs> Travolta moves. <laughs> like, honestly, you thought you were watching Saturday Night Fever, the way he was, he was just moving. Like, he's good at dancing. Let's just put it that way. He's a ladies' man. They love the dancing of Andrea. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew. Andrew, yeah, Andrew, we're, we're running with Andrew. Yeah, sorry. And Seba, you have similar stories too about your time at Marconi. Yeah, I remember as a, as a ball boy sitting next to Bertie Mariani as a six, seven-year-old. Uh, that was my spot for the Marconi games. And um, halfway through the reserve grade, you just, Andrea, come from the main entry, he'd have a posse of about 20, 30 people and mate, you knew he was at the stadium, eh? He was the loudest bloke, mate. He, he, unbelievable, eh? Like everyone who knows who knows football in this country knows Andrew. How good. Now, Andrew, I want you to give us your top five Sydney Olympic players from your time at Sydney Olympic. Uh, Off the top of your head. I know it's a question without notice, yeah, it's but... It's hard to pick five because yeah. I, could, I could tell you 50, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't know where to start. Look, Michael Sober, Peter Catholis, yep. Peter Escobles, Chris Galangis, Jim Patigas, you know, uh, Andrew Burnell. There were so many, so many, so many... Robbie you, Einstein. Robbie Einstein. I mean, I, you, you can't leave anybody out. You, you know? can't. Yeah, it's fair. Hard, you know? Gary Meyer. Gary Meyer, Gary Phillips. What about Gary that Phillips. guy you carried off on your Mark, shoulders? Mark Gooses. Yeah, yeah. What's, uh, what, sorry, Danny Spiry Douglas, you're talking about. Oh, yeah. One of my good mates, Danny Spiry, Spiry Douglas. Spiry Douglas? Jimmy Zeras. Wow. Uh, did I say Mark Gooses? Hey, name your, not, name your top 20. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should go. Stuart, Stuart Johnson. Yeah. You like Stuart Johnson, huh? Oh, he's, he's, he, 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 what do you like? Oh, wait, wait, you forgot one. Abbasad. Hey. Abbasad, baby. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> That's a different era. Abbasad. Abbasad. That's a different era. You won the grand fight. Uh, uh, 91, uh, was it? Was, the year we lost to Marconi was 88, 89. At Paramount Stadium. Catholic was in the Marconi team, I think. Yeah. But the following year, they beat us 1 0. We rubbed that in, we scored 2 1 by 2. Alistair Edwards and then Bessard. So get down. Alistair Edwards, yes. I what a that. player. He was a good player. Yeah, but where's something? And all, not just Olympic players, they played full A internationals for Australia as yeah, well. Yeah, you're right. Socceroos. Right. Yep, yep. And uh, I remember, I could go further back than this, but can I just say a little story? Yeah. In 1982, Tommy Doggett was the coach of Sydney Olympic. Yeah. I remember going to training one, day, one night. And, and a couple of times, Tommy says, what's the rabbit in the park for? Not on a sheep in. <laughs> he said, no, not on the kids running the park. <laughs> anyway, the cat was training with the ball. He wouldn't pass the ball to nobody. Tommy's dog, he says to the cat, listen, I'm going to get two balls, one for you, one for the rest of the team. <laughs> I can't forget things like that. Wow. They stay in your mind forever. And Tommy <laughs> Doggerty, coach Manchester United, I don't, I don't have to say much, just the name alone. To speak for itself. Yeah. And then the 82, they went and played Man United, the Olympic, and lost 2-1. Yeah. They had a very good uh, tournament. And they, they made the teams and they were very respectable scored. 1-0, 1-0, 2-1. 
That's, that was a good side because I think in a squad of Olympic, seven players. National team. National team. And no one played Oli Roos and, and Soccer wow. Roos. Remember when um, uh, Ian Rush came out for that two game stint? Yeah. One was against Marconi. I remember playing in the but reserve. But there's other players that come from overseas. Billy Peary, David Proven, that come from overseas as guest guest yeah, players. Guess. And they, they, they got into the hearts of our supporters, man. I can never forget many days and nights we played at St George Stadium and we actually we we were no match we played just about every game in Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me, can I ask you something? Like yeah, I, I was a kid and, and I yeah. remember when Davey Proven came out to Australia yeah. and he played six games and he scored six goals. Yes, like yes. Every week we were at Billy school. Billy the same, done the same thing. Yeah, we were at school and, yeah. and we couldn't wait to get to the weekend to see Davey Proven. Yeah. And he, that he, six weeks. He was weeks, a special player, Peter. That was, and then he played, I'm sure he played in an FA Cup, Scottish FA Cup, yeah. and then he fell ill and he never played again. Like he, he oh, was, wow. Yeah, talk, yeah. Talk, talking about Davey Proven. There's uh, Jimmy Redford, he was a great player. I, uh, uh, can't, there's so many names that I, I just straight away you can't come to mind. Yeah, of course. But it, like, even later on with that, it was uh, Jason Bollock. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Norvi, I think he finished his career with Brisbane Raw. Yeah. Right North. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another bloke was with him at the same time. Got, Kiz Norvo was with him as well, I remember. Yeah, there was another boy that I can't think of, he played for us. He had a Dutch surname and I can't think of it, man. Four, four, letter, four letter surname. It's so many, but oh, to mention because Wayne I'm Stroy. so Wayne Stroy. Wayne Stroy. Wayne Stroy. But there's so many players at the moment. I'm so excited to be with you yeah. boys. I can stay here forever. Oh, mate. Weekend, no, that's, that's why you're here. here. That's why you. That's why you're here. That's so why you're here, forgive mate. me if I, if I go overboard. Okay? No, 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 no. no, no, no. We, we, oh, mate, there, there's no, there's no such thing as going overboard. All right. So let's take it. Obviously, you've been involved in football for for for, for that long. Let, let let's run with your best NSL players outside of Sydney Olympic then. So players that you reckon that uh, turned out, up... Outside in, I mean, with uh, NSL, but not for Olympic. Yeah, not for Olympics. So well, players it, that, it, you know... Ivo, Ivo, Ivo Pascalo with, yeah. with a gun. And I forgot to mention Vincent Stavilio. Yep, OK. He, he played for Uruguay, Olympiacos in Greece, and he played for Olympic. Yeah. Ivo Pascalo, hey, well, there's another one, it came a urine, come from Croatia for, for playing for Sydney United. Yep. Or Sydney Croatia in those days. He was a, he's a, he was a gun player. Yeah. Urine and, and another guy, uh, Josh Sasanovic, he played for the and the National Team of Croatia. There's so many, Vieri. Yeah. The father Vieri, then the son Vieri. There was yeah. a, Roberto Vieri, Christian Vieri. Yeah. In a minute, a lot of more things will come to me because... It, at my age too, I've not even got dementia or, or Alzheimer's yet. <laughs> but because no, but you've got so much history in your... Well, wanna, in your oh, just let it out, look, man. Yeah, this is what we're trying I, to get can out, I, yeah? Can I just say one thing before I forget? Absolutely, mate. I want to I speak on behalf of Australian soccer or Australian football. Soccer's an American name. Football's the real world because football is a global game. Now, in our country, in this country of ours, most children, whether, whether, they, whether it be boys or girls... The majority of them, I want to say 70%, might be more, from say from the age of five or six until the age of 12 to 15, a lot of those kids play soccer, football. And what happens? When they get to the age of 12 or 15, who have not got enough infrastructures, academies, uh, we had AOS in Canberra where Paducah come out from, and uh, park the... Park Parkley. Academy, all those things that are not enough of them to go around. So what happens? Those children at that age, 12, 15, they can't make it to the next level of soccer, so they they got basketball, rugby league, Aussie rules, netball, basketball, and so forth, so on and so on and so forth. But we remember this, that they started from there. Michael O'Connor was a soccer player. He was. Not rugby league. Steve Wall but was both a massive them. player of Bankstown. Yeah, played I with Robbie Slater. On because I met a lot of boys, you know. I even met Jeff Thompson, the cricket. He came to me at games and he spun out when he saw me. He said, are you for real, mate? We've got out there. There's nobody. Wow. Just, no, I never seen anybody in that sport get so excited. Wow. I, said, I said, listen, Jeff, Tom, I'm the real deal. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could go on and on and on. Oh, you could, eh? Because a lot, of, a lot of players got lost along the way. Well, the thing is, I'll just finish off this conversation. Then we'll go with another subject. The thing is with... Uh, I don't want to get in trouble here by, by naming names, but David Hill, David Hill and a few of his uh, associates uh, brought the game a little bit backwards because they cut out the ethnic names. Now, the ethnic names, 
is what mate's stuck in his cabin. Is that David Hill? Sydney, that- Croatia. David Hill, you're talking that, about? That, yes, yeah. I remember. Sydney, Croatia, my gunny Fairfield, Ben Hellenic, former he's now Sydney Olympic. South was, Melbourne. There was Hugo Prague. Melbourne. There was South Melbourne Hellas. There's Wilhelmina in Melbourne, George Cross, you name it. I can go a thousand names. And that, that's gone by the wayside. And that's, that, yeah. that's a sad fact because these these clubs, when the bread and butter was trying to yeah. soccer, was trying to football. And it's, it's a shame and it's a, it's a waste. That uh, all this is gone by the Polani and all the other clubs yeah. have all gone by the wayside. Well, I don't know how to express myself, but I would love to give something back to the code and uh, to the kids and the people in this country that love football. Yeah. Just a little bit as much as I love it. That's all I want to say, mate. I'll but Andrea, just before the just before we started recording, you said that in about twelve months' time, football is going to kick off again. We can oh. actually we know that there there is a shift happening. I've heard that, mate. That's what I told you. There, there is a big shift happening. For example, with Fox Sports and TV rights, like once that gets all sorted, it'll the the game's going to take a different direction, eh? And I'd that's lo- where the, the likes of the old school people. I think that's going to I think that's going to come back in. They're going to be embraced again. Well, I just want to say one little thing. I don't want I don't want to uh, expose you. I don't need any exposure. I don't need any, uh, what's the word? I don't need any, I'm down to earth, mate. I'm yeah, not yeah, yeah. I'd love to get involved, if I'm well enough, health-wise, to put, without pay, as an advisor, to help these people that are taking off, to give them some some direction, yeah. and whatever else they want. I'd love to offer my services to the people involved in the code for the good of the for sport, for the good of the country, sport in this country. That's all, mate. That's all. Uh, I, I, I reckon it. they're stupid not to have you. There's it. plenty of knowledge in that. From, oh, there's massive um, knowledge. Uh, massive, how, massive many, knowledge. how many years? All right, take us back ta- Take us back to running the Socceroos Supporters Club. Okay. It was many, many years ago. I'll, go, I'll take you back further. I'll take you back in the mid-60s, mid to late 60s. I'll give you some names. They were household names. in that. Ati Abonyi. Abonyi, yes. I Jimmy Mackay, Johnny Warren, Alan Marnock, Johnny Watkins. Jack Riley, the other goalkeeper, Jimmy Fraser. Jimmy Fraser, yeah. Uh, hang on, that's a few more. Adrian Alston. Uh, Bart. Max Dalton. Ray, Ray Bart. Ray Bart. Bart. The guy from Newcastle. How good was he? Another, another, another soul that I love and always love, Craig Johnston. Yeah. They told him when he went to Middlesbrough, he could kick a ball. You know what? He won everything with Middlesbrough. Uh, sorry, with Liverpool. With Liverpool. He yeah. didn't prove a thing. And he loves the game boy as much Newcastle. as I do. Boy from Newcastle. A Newcastle boy. boy. from Newy. That's yeah. it. Yep. Because the boy. Uh, what was up to? Sorry. So we're running the Socceroo Supporters Club. You took us back to the 60s. Yeah. yeah. I, I just finished off the... Uh, yeah. At the, at the coaches at the time of the uh, Socceroo team was Rally Resic and Les Schoenflag, two very good friends of mine. They call me the madman, but they call me <laughs> a trello, but I'm an Oreo trello, which means I'm, I'm a madman, but I'm a beautiful madman because yeah. I, I, I... For a good cause. I've never had a fly, mate. Nah, of course. Fly. So they got to know me and when they see me, they can't stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> and that, those people, they're really resic. And and uh, I forgot Memphis Schaefer, the milkman, sorry. sorry. Oh, hey, yeah, Memphis Schaefer, the milkman, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot about him. And uh, maybe uh, uh, Wilson, Wilson, yeah. Peter Wilson. Yeah. And a few, a couple of others. If uh, Ray Richards, sorry, Raymond. Yeah, mate, right. I've only got one brain. Some, are, some are with that one brain. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but, sorry, Ray. Tell us, tell but us about how you ran the, the Socceroos. Is, I'll get there in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Socceroos were crucified because to qualify for the World Cup, and they did qualify in 1974. They had to win. They had to beat all the island nations: New Caledonia, Namibia, Samoa. Or they call it Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. And they bet we, we, we just got over New Zealand and then we got uh, pitted against South Korea. And South Korea were always a, were always a hard, nut to, hard nut to crack. So I think I think it was one... They won one game over there, one nil, I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly. We won one nil, so I went to buy a third leg. And the third leg, I think we played in Vietnam, I thought, or Cambodia, one of those. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, somebody correct me one day, please. <laughs> and I think we played, and uh, Jim McCoy scored a, a, a postage step or a, uh, with a spider's leap a goal for, or, or with, a, with a rocket shot, and we went to the World Cup. And what, and we're so, I'm so proud, and I think the nation, were, 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 the nation went berserk in 1973 74. Because the first time ever in the history of, of Australian soccer, football, Australia made the World Cup. We, we, we pitted against West Germany, East Germany and Chile. I think we lost 2-0 to one of the Germanys, 
As soon as they out of Germany, they would draw. We're going to draw with Chile, one new law. And that was very respectable. And I think we're going to be a name out of ourselves then. But since then, it took a long time to qualify for the World Cup again because yeah. I don't know whether the right people behind there. Or there was a, there was a few issues, a few uh, niggles, problems. But the finally, uh, to come to fruition, mm-hmm. we qualified for the World Cup a couple of times since then. Yeah. With households names like Mike Viduka, Harry Kuehl, one of my good buddies, one of my good mates, Timmy Boy. Timmy Gale. He, he, when I saw him at uh, one of the games, he started crying. I, I, I started crying before him. Could we must have the <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm actually... Well, two days apart the same month. And uh, it's... It's... Uh, it's, it's uh, what's the word? When you get him... Yeah, it's emotional. Emotional. Yeah, yeah. And emotional. you can't forget kids like that because... When he was 14, 15, he was playing for Belmore. Yeah. Hercules, yeah. a park soccer. No, I wanted him. But he made it now. Even in the Olympic, I think Nick Theo said, no, you're too short, mate. Yeah. He proved everybody wrong. Yeah. He went out, he clips and bounds. Yeah. And yeah. I don't forget him, and I, I love you. Uh, Timmy Cahill, you reckon I'm a legend? You're a bigger legend than me. <laughs> a million times over. Love you, mate. Okay. There you go, Timmy. And Big then, shout out, brother. Uh, actually, then, uh, then uh, I think we played. <laughs> I think the next next uh, couple of World Cup qualified uh, re, uh, uh, qualified um, Uruguay. No, no, ne- before uh, Argentina. Oh, Argentina. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. Involved, I, was, I was involved with another guy. I can't think his name because I, I, he, he he knew that I had a bit of knowledge about soccer. And we got together. And we started soccer supporters club. Oh yeah. And I met Craig. Craig uh, who was it? It was Mark Schwarzer. Yeah. He come and jumped to me. I put him on my shoulders. I said, Marky, Mark, and the fucky butts is going to happen, son. <laughs> <laughs> the real deal. He said, everybody got so excited and so much. You know? It just means so much to people. And uh, it, it was hard because that just did have Maradona at that time. He uh. done much stuff for, but he gave one ball to the, what's the bloke with the long hair scored the goal? Uh, no, it was Abu Balbo. Abu Balbo. Was it Abu Balbo? Yeah. 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 What, was, what was the other boy? Can Bastuta. 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 No, no. It was, no, it was Bastuta, number nine. Yeah, he, no, no, he, he scored the goal score, against us here. Yeah, Abu Balbo. Balbo or Kanigia? Balbo. Balbo. Sorry, Balbo. 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 I was close, mate. Kanigia was 1990 World Cup. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Abu Balbo. Anyway. And I think, talking about Argentina, I remember back in 78, 78 when they beat Holland, the score was one all Argentina. And Holland, Holland, hit the, Holland, the last minute of 90 minutes, hit the post. And the way it went the extra time, and Argentina won 3 1. 3 1. And that's Holland, lost two World Cups. I got soft stuff for Holland because my brother's married to a Dutch girl from school, they were together from school. Yeah. And for me, Holland, Holland and Ajax played the best football in the 70s. Oh, they mate. did with Cruyff. By street, by far, by street, streets. Yeah, yeah. Streets apart. It was I revolutionary. Take, I take it football. Rinus Mikkels, who was the other guy there? Y- Young and Cruyff. No, no, the, the coaches. Rinus Mikkels and uh, oh, there was two famous coaches. Oh, of the Ajax? For Ajax, yeah. Oh. Rinus Mikkels, I can't think of that. But Ajax had Cruyff, uh, Neskins, N- R- Neskins yeah. Palmer, Johnny Rep. Yeah, Van der Van der Kerkhoff brothers he had uh, so many, so many players that here in the seventies. Yeah, it uh, don't come out very often, mate. Every fifty years you get. Uh, it's generation. Like, 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 you've got a good memory. Hasn't he? What got a good memory? He's Bloody telling hell. us about mate, the seventies. The seventies. We're talking about fifty years ago. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's I'm not I'm sixty nine in December. Wow, it's, it's so good. And Keep again. Down. Again, Keep down, I'll fill you up some more. Go. <laughs> it's why we started it, right? Nostalgia, yeah, that's it. like taking, like Are you boys excited, or what? absolutely, oh, excited. mate. We're, we're taking, we're loving, pe- it. <laughs> we're loving it. Yeah. yeah. What are you, young man? <laughs> <laughs> so, for you, right? For you, running that Socceroo Supporters Club must have been like it, it must have been just fun. Every it whenever was, you're sorting it, it all fun. out. This is something else. Did you travel at all? Did you travel? Oh, yeah, I went a few, play, a few. Not overseas, I think overseas. Local. Because I had a business, I had a wife and three kids. Yeah. Or two or three, I don't know, three boys. Uh, but I went, I went just about every game. Yeah, okay. And uh, whether it was Adelaide or Brisbane or Perth or Melbourne. Yeah, so in Australia I you travelled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to Thailand, well, I think, I'm not sure, I might have been to Thailand or some uh, um, South Eastern South South country, but I can't think. But too long ago, I've been to too many, too many places. I, I, I can't think, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah old, old age. All right. I think I was talking a little bit. Don't you? <laughs> 
You're going good, let me tell you. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I'm just sitting <laughs> back here <laughs> having a listen. Uh, how good, good we go. You. Good on you. All right, Flea, so much. Flea, let's bring you in. I'm sure uh, over your time knowing Andrew that there's plenty of stories uh, on your part, right? And no doubt some good stories and uh, stories you can probably share with the viewers for a couple I'm sure you can get out, yeah? Do you want a to certain, remind me of something? Well, this, a all certain right. house? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about the time you beat Bankstown at Bankstown? For Olympic. Uh, <laughs> no, no. What about the time Bankstown beat Olympic and made me cry? Is that what you mean? No, no, no. Listen, no, listen, 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 listen. Yes, sorry. that's the one. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So, listen, we're, we've left from Bankstown, okay, uh, Peter and I, Seca, and, and we've gone to Olympic. No. Yes, yes. Peter, Peter, can I just say something small because you forgot something, please? All right, go for it. Okay. <laughs> At 19, I think, the year, the, the team was called Bankstown Macedonia. Yeah. And we played in the FFA Cup final, the, what's the cup? At Southern we played. What, what was the cup? Was it? Why did he beat us? I wasn't there. But yes, I, you was. You no, were the assistant coach. No, no, no. That was before me and Pete, but we did no, win. You were there now. Oh, the one that we, oh, the one that we won at Sutherland. Sutherland. Yeah, okay. we'll that's a good that. story. That's a good story. No, Do you want me to tell you that story? Do you want me to tell that story? Yeah, please tell right, me that right. and then the other. Okay, yeah. we'll, go to, we'll go to that. Start with that one. Right, right. Actually, his, his memory is fantastic. Right? He's got a good one. For I'd him. actually forgotten about this one. <laughs> so, so, Pete, Pete and I were at Bankstown. Now we'll go back a bit. So, we were at Bankstown, and 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 I. I think you might have well, Yeah, I was we about won, to say, we was won, that We seven, won the cup at, at Southern. Anyway, so I'll, I'll tell you what no, happened. You weren't there, mate. No, Early, I wasn't there. I don't think so. Early in the year, I had got sent off the bench um, against Penrith. Abbas was coach at yeah, the time. And, and I got sent off. And, and nothing was said about it. So usually you get a week suspension. So as the time went on, we were looking around. When's this suspension going to happen? So... I asked a couple of questions. Am I going to be suspended? I've been sent off the bench. You usually get one week. Nothing happened about it. So as the season went on, it got to the final of the cup. It used to be at the end of the season. So we made the final. So did Olympic. Uh, and we get a, a letter from the Federation Association. What, what do you want to call yeah, it? Federation? Yeah, we'll run with that. Fo- football New South Wales. Fo- yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they said, OK, you're suspended for the final. So I'm thinking, hang on. I got sent off at round eight, and you've decided to suspend me now. So your assistant coach Seca was playing. Seca was playing. So, so uh, you know, I was on the bench by myself. But for this game, I wasn't. So we called Cosi in, Franco and Cosentino. He yeah. was a, he was the yeah. coach of the twenties, and he could handle it anyway. So he wait, settle down. So so Cosi <laughs> went on the bench. Because you went on the bench. <laughs> Listen to him. Settle down. It's all right. I'm going to tell the story for you. I'm going to make you look good. Don't worry. So, because he's on the bench yeah. and Cosy and I are close, you know, we've, we've got no problem working together. We're so close mates. So, I said, I'll take my phone and I'll go on the other side of the pitch and you sit on the bench and we can talk on the Which phone. Because I, I wasn't allowed on the on bench. On the bench, yep, fair. So, I've walked around and, and I wasn't wearing a Bankstown jacket. I was wearing a leather jacket so no one could could really tell it was me, right? And you know how at Sutherland it's right up on the fence. So yeah, yeah. I was a little bit fearless. Side. Yeah, on the opposite side. I was a little yeah. bit fearless. I said, stuff this, I'm going to get sit right in the middle on halfway. Whatever happens, happens. Those days, there was crowd. Man. Yeah, there would five, have been fence, yeah. Five, six thousand was at this game. Easy, easy. Easy. And the game was delayed 45 minutes to let the people in. Because yeah, it was right. the last match of the yeah, season. Yeah, and the a grand cup final. final. Yeah. Cup final. Yeah, the cup grand final. final had already been played. It was... I think it was called the... Tiger Turf Cup. Tiger Turf That's Cup. That's yeah, yeah. One of those, sorry, man. So, so, so I've, I've walked... got a very good memory to uh, you. Your mind. So I've walked around. <laughs> That's why I love you. <laughs> I've walked around and I've, and I've sort of gone to sit down by myself and I thought, you know, I'll take everyone on here. I don't care. And him, he came <laughs> and he stood behind me and he said, no one's going to touch you here. He goes, Andrea's here. Andrew is here. All right? So <laughs> he stood next to me and, and they surrounded me, the Olympic fans, like... And I sort of tried to coach from the other side of the field and had him like a bodyguard. And he was Sydney Olympics' number one fan. fan he yep. stopped being a fan to protect me wow. from... Oh, they weren't going to attack me, but maybe they would have. They weren't... It only takes one. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Studsy creams Anthony Demarnas. He gets sent off. Then there's an all-in brawl. Another player gets sent off. We're, we're down to like... Nine men. Nine and ten. And then, and cut a long story short, there's about... Ten minutes to go, and we've got this guy on the bench on the bench called 
Yeah. Chili, his nickname is. Yeah. Christopher Go to Bascua, his name is, right? Yeah, yes. And um, if anyone knows him, he's a great super sub. And he, that year had scored stacks of goals, right, off the bench. So he's on the bench and the crowd are screaming to put him on, right, because he's ringing me. He's going, hey, <laughs> hey, we've got to put him on. I go, just wait because there's extra time. Yeah, yeah. It was one all at the time. I go, just wait. And the time's going, I've got this guy next to me hugging me, going, don't worry, no one's going to touch you. And, and Cos is going, we've got to put him on. And, and I wasn't on the bench, he was over there, and I'm going, I can't hear you. You made me cry, you bastard. Just <laughs> put him on, throw the kid on. So yeah. I get to see Cos, he's got him ready, he's put him on. He comes on, he scores one and sets one up and... We win the game three one with a man sent off. This black's frying. He's crying. He's crying. He's sent off. I go to protect what? you. Yeah, I go. What are you crying for? I go. Just get me around to the other side before anyone attacks me. <laughs> we got her out there. And, oh, yeah, it was, we won oh, the cup. I forgot to mention some names, man. Uh, not because it's just a good friend of mine. It's Scotty Bailey, Scotty Hunter Bailey, Hunter Yuri, Scott Thomas. They're all from Newcastle boys, then. Yeah. And uh, they they played a lot of years in the Olympic. I'm yeah. sorry, boys. Uh, <laughs> Actually, we've got Ante Juric coming on. Yeah, Ante Juric yeah, is coming on. He's going to come on. Yeah, Ante Juric, Scott Bailey, Scotty Thomas. But yeah. somebody to mention, oh, Glenn Moss. Yeah, uh, yeah. I see. see. Hang on, Gary Meyer, set me on fire. He played for 20 years as a goalkeeper. Yeah. No gloves, 16 year old, first grade. <laughs> what a legend he was. First eh? couple, 50, first couple, 15 years old, first grade. Yeah. Rastic was our coach, put him on. Yeah. He said, and I asked him after the game, how was it? He said, oh, I'm a bit tired because he played rugby league earlier. Yeah. Oh, he played, yeah. <laughs> oh, he was a good player too. The kids grabs cold to someone. And uh, I've got a lot of time with Scopa, the cat, you name it. I, yeah, I, the I cat's can't, coming on too. I can't think enough of it, man, but whatever you guys want to ask me, I'll give you 110%. Yeah, and, mate, right. you certainly have. Now, Flea, take us back there. Go, yeah, Flea. The, the, the story, Ta- the, take us back to Bankstown <laughs> at Bankstown. Where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, yeah. Where did you go after that? Okay, okay, Are we going okay. there? Yeah, all yeah. right. All right. It's, not, it's, not, it's not rude anyway. Yeah. It's not bad what we did, Andrea. Okay, so I'm going to remind you. All right, calm down. <laughs> I'm going to say, <laughs> okay. say a word, I promise. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so we'll, we'll go somewhere else in a minute. So we've gone from Bankstown to Olympic at Second Eye. Um, we beat Bankstown. Yeah. We beat them pretty well. So we beat them well. I'm not even going to go into it. It was a good win. So we couldn't really go in and drink in their in their, um, their little clubhouse. Yeah. They've got a great clubhouse. Our photos were up on the wall. Um, I said, it's not. It's disrespectful. If we go in there now, start drinking and, and celebrating our win. We were just there seven years. Settle down. No, you forgot something. The Bankstown, the Bankstown president was a very good man, very good man. He put, what was his name? George man? Jackson? There was plenty of them. Alex, uh, Alex Zuborewski, he was a great, great Alex, man. Alex, to Alex me, was good. Alex sticks in my mind because he come up to me and, and hugged me. Yeah. He didn't even have a side. And I said, it doesn't matter. I got Greek, I said, Daniel, look, to me, it doesn't matter what you are, mate. You love the game. I don't care if you're black, white, Macedonian, Greek, Chinese, he had it, we're all one, yeah? That's it. Football's a man, Alex was a nice man. Top guy, Alex. Oh, I've got winner. a great story about him later anyway. So, <laughs> so that, you know, we don't want to go and drink in the club. Yes. Yeah. So it's not right. It's just not right. And I said to Andrea, Respect. what are we going to do? He goes, I don't know, let's go for a drink somewhere. Okay. Why don't we just go to the Sefton? <laughs> Black. Yes. Well, what's the Sefton? Okay, so the Sefton is like... The pub, the pub. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Black, black House, but it's a bit naughty. What is it, a bit naughty? Is okay, it? So, oh. so this is what happens, right? So, right. so some of the players, I'm not going to mention their names because, they, you know, they're married now and, and they're probably were girlfriends back then. So yeah, maybe. good, good maybe. guys, good, good guys, guys, right? But, I, you know, I, I was a married man myself. So I said, all right, let's go to the Sefton, man. So the Sefton Playhouse is like... You can play poker machines, you can you can play greyhounds, horses, harness racing, footy, TAB, but you can even watch the women dance. So it's like, it's a strip parlour. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a strip parlour. So, you know, I've just, I've just wanted to make the bloke happy. You know, right. Go for a drink. So we go in there and, you know, like... I don't go there that often. <laughs> I walk in there. I walk in there. It's, it's, <laughs> so it's like 50 metres down the road from where I coached for seven years. And uh, I go, Andrea, just come with me. Don't worry, guys. Put in my lugger. What's going on in here? <laughs> so, like, 
I go, do you want to go have a bet? Well, you know, something you want to... He goes, no, let's go in there. So he starts dancing. Like, like he's dancing with... On the floor, on the floor. On the, like, with, with, the, with the strippers. <laughs> no, not on stage, on the floor. Yeah, on the floor. So he's dancing, right? The, yeah. the, the, the exotic dancers. They were like... They were happy. Oh, they were like well, happy. Well. They, they were... They could see he was yeah, yeah, he was genuine. Yeah, he was yeah. a genuine guy having fun, having a dance. He wasn't being rude. He wasn't touching anyone. He's just having a having a top time, right? So I said time. to him, I don't do you want to get a private? <laughs> <laughs> the voice you get. So you know, like <laughs> anyway, relax, man. It's not like you did anything bad. So so I just <laughs> All right, relax. So we we didn't get we didn't get a private. So we, we were just we were just watching the the guys dance. So it was we had we had fun. This guy was dancing with the strippers. But it you was, had a time was of up. your life, eh? <laughs> okay. yeah, but, but Andrea, and Andrew, th- that would have been times like that. You would have loved those sort of things as a supporter of football in general, going out with the boys at the end and whatever else. Yes, mate, a big time because he forgot something else. <laughs> I can't remember you come to a, a Pandora's box, a private bin, or Juliana's, or Bourbon and Beef, or could you... Juliana's won, you won another dance club I there. Another, <laughs> the old dance with Juliana's. Really? That's one of the biggest African queen, St. Leonard's, double bay in Chatswood. Jeez. I stripped the floor. <laughs> I think I went on the line. I jumped, he, just lo- he loved the dance. I jumped that eye. You know, there's a lot of this kind of light up top. The 12 foot up the ground, I hit one on my head and broke it. Really? The boys said to me, give, give me the gun, son. <laughs> the best is the knee slide. <laughs> oh, yeah, the knee slide. slide. So it's, he, fam- he it's famous. Up. Everyone talks about the knee slide. So he's run across the dance floor and he's <laughs> the knee slide. Yeah. I broke the line, this guy, man. 12 foot. 12 Out of control. Foot, yeah. 12 foot that was above the ground. Bloody hell. How can I jump that eye, man? I want a six foot. Oh, uh, come <laughs> And you have fun good. times. Uh, yeah. good, eh? That's ah. But the African Queens boys, you ask your uncles, your fathers, they'll tell you they were the biggest clubs at the time. Yeah? Uh, private Bean, Pandora's Box in Canberra. All the African Queens in Sydney. Canberra had a... Sugar Reef. Bar Triple Three. I don't know. Canberra. I can't, Let's move I on now from the dance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know good times. You know? Oh, I know good times. We're talking about them now, aren't we? Yeah, because... That's 20, 30 years ago. A lot of footballers... We, we had to rel- relieve, relieve Re- some pressure. Of course. And we'll go down and we'll sort of boogie on, you know? Yeah, get in. That's all. Right down, son. <laughs> all right, let's yeah. take it. Let's take it to now. Seriously. Let, let's take it to now. Um, you're, you're a passionate fan of the Wanderers now as well, yeah? Well, I was invited to the Wanderers at day one when they, when they evolved by, uh, who was it? It was Bob Hart. I think Bob was there at the beginning. I'm, yeah. Well, one, one of my mates, there's Croatian background, but doesn't matter what, what I was this. He said... Legend, can you come and give us a handy, mate? I said, what do you want? She said, we'd love to put, just put program at the gate, whatever. whatever you, I said, look, give me the program, I'll go to the gate. I remember one time at uh, uh, Fame Bush, I think it was 65 or 70,000, I said, you see, I wonder if, yep. I'll never forget, did you go to those games? First I, I was game. at the gate giving out programs, every person near me there, come. I'm going, Jesus Christ, I was like, I'm, I'm, famous in, I'm more famous than Jesus. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not, but because it, it opens up my heart because yeah. how I felt. And the warmth, the warmth and the love I felt from those people and, until now, even more now, it just means so much to me because I don't want, I never ask for anything. I love the sport so much, I love the people, and uh, I just want to. Go a bit further in this, in this sport, in this game, that's yeah. all. And that's, and that's what... Wonder, I'll tell you, but the, sorry, I'll finish off with the one. Yeah, yeah. When I got involved, a lot of times I helped the wheelchair people, go sit with them or push them around, whatever, get the men's programs. I have been, I've only been to a couple of games this year because of certain COVID and yeah. other things and I haven't been well myself, but I'm all right now. I wasn't sick, I'm just old, mate. <laughs> and... Uh, to, to, to put... To put things in perspective, I grew up in, I'm a Greenville boy originally. Yeah. When I got married, I bought a house in Fairfield West, yeah. 77. Yeah. So, um, um, all, nearly all my life in the Western Suburbs. First, yeah. So, but I don't know, it's in the Olympic, they never were never in the Western <laughs> Suburbs. Yeah, we, we were off at we were off at Park Lee. And you know what I said? The, the supporters on that committee, nah, too far, going in the bush. Yeah, look, at it, look at it now. Look at it now. And that, I wish I was old enough then to hear that it would have been anything. Yeah. Well, Andrew Benel said one day, with the Marconi, one of the ground, the palace, the glove, the palace, 
and the ground, but with the Maseratis and the Boogies of Australia within a garage. How true was that <laughs> from Andrew Burnell? Yeah, I remember that, eh? They, they Good made old Birch. Good old Birch. Birch, hey, Birch man. Birch, that. Man. Man, Not just before the grand final, he said that. Yeah, he played for Reading in England too. Mate, we got Birch coming on next week. I, I forgot to mention his name. Birchy, the no. legend loves your son. Tell him, will you? Yeah, we'll tell it. We'll tell him next week, yeah. eh? So we're we'll, we'll looking some some stories from him next are you week. Go, are you going to his book launch? Did you hear about the book? His book launch? I didn't know about that. It's next week. Isn't next, it? Week, yeah, next week, next Tuesday. Well, if he invites me, I'll get, if I get an invite, I'll go. Mate, we'll get Birch to uh, because I, I can drive at night time, but night time's a bit hard. Until I get my eyes done, I'm getting a nice, I'm getting my eyes done soon. Oh, nice, very good. Yeah. We'll have a little talk about that later. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, have yeah. Nice. About that. we'll have a little okay. talk. We'll, we'll have a little talk about that. So, is, you're still supporting the Wanderers now, He's, if you can get to the games, yeah? 100% still. Yeah. It hurts me about some of the coaching decisions that I see there because I'm not a coach, but I was a coach for John Sauce. This was one everything. Paramount City, I want everything. Kemps United, I want everything. Glasgow United, I want everything. Yeah. As a coach, as a player. Minor Premier Grand Final. I think I've won a bit Paramount City. I've got a photo with John Doyle. Anybody heard of John Doyle? Yeah. Yep. I've got a photo with John Doyle and a, and a few other boys. Peter might know them. Uh, two of them played for Australia. At over 35s, 1990, 91, I was 39, 40. I was in the first grade team with Kavura. It won the comp that year. And John Doyle's next to me. Yeah, right. And to me, he's, I think he's a bit older than me. He's about 74, John Doyle. He's 75. Yeah. He was a mathematician. He used, to, he, used to, he used to calm me down because I was, he used to say the ADHD, I was, I was excited. I said, no, I just love the game, mate. I, I might have been a bit overexcited. <laughs> and uh, he, he, he calmed me down and we, we, won, we won it, we won everything. Now, you, it, the, the football community, uh, uh, as you well know, everyone, it brings everyone together. And over the last few weeks, you, you would have been overwhelmed with the support you've received over the last few weeks from uh, really good friends of yours. Without, um, without a doubt. And, uh, and Flea, it's been overwhelming on your part too, I dare say. All right, look, look I, I'd, like to, I'd like to set a few things straight because and, Andrew never asked for any help. He never asked for any money, any help, anything. He's, 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 a, he's a proud man. He, he, he's, he's got no reason to ask for anything. But we, we watched this ABC documentary and, and on Facebook people started asking questions of how could we help him. Um, he never, ever, ever, ever rang and asked for anything. So a young kid called Con Pappas... Um, he's a friend of mine on Facebook. We, we've become friends the last few months, and he said to me, I, "I really love Andrew." He goes, "You know, like when I was a kid, I used to just love watching him at the games. I really, what can we do to help him?" I said, "Well, we, we've got to help him in some way." And he said, "I'm going to start a GoFundMe page." So he started it. He didn't ask Andrew. He didn't ask for any permission. He, he, he. he hang on a second. He sh- yeah, he, if he would have asked him, he would have stopped him. Mm, he of, said, course. No. He, of course, he would have said no. I don't want. Any, I don't want any help. But um, it goes to show that uh, the football fraternity—is that the word I'm looking for? Yep. Um, how much they 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 love the guy. Like um, the donations keep rolling in, and he's never asked for any help. Uh, myself, I've been inundated with phone calls, messages, emails, text, um, Instagram messages. A- any way someone can uh, approach me, they have, and they've asked me, what does he need? Can I give him this? Can I give him that? And I said, I've said, settle down, let me, let me finish. I've said, he doesn't want anything. All, all he's ever asked is for parea, like hang out, you know, like go to games, like we, we've asked him to come and watch us play at our over 45s team, um, and he he came last week and geez we had a great time. We, Let yeah. me just add one thing, please. Yeah, you can add. Go for it. Okay. The only problem I've got with that is I think the journalist of Channel Two went a bit too far. She asked too many personal questions, and because of my goodness of my heart, I said something I shouldn't have said, family-wise. I'm not going to repeat it now. Yeah. And my my boys are not talking to me. I, I know I said the wrong thing. I want my boys to forgive me because I love my children and I, I was always there for, I'll always be there for them the day I die. Now, we all make mistakes, we're all human beings, but I think the, in my vulner, vulnerability at soccer, the girl came a few times and asked me a few things, I was screaming for the team, and I said a few things I should have said. I'll take that back, but I told her as well, I told the girl as well, I won't mention, I won't mention her name, please do not put this in the context, mm. not once, not twice, three times. 
yeah. or a relationship I've had or whatever. Yeah. Please, because it's going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt my, my, my children and my family. Please. I've been ridiculed a little bit by those comments, but I want people to know deep down what I stand for and what, I live and what I've done all my life. My house, I raised my kids. Yeah, I've you, you name it, I've done it, and uh, I never asked for any self pity or any help or charity. And what I'm thinking now, whatever comes with Peter, I told him once I get my eyes done, I want to donate the money to breast cancer. So I lost something of like that, and also uh, the children with that can't see with their eyes because I know I've been problem with my eyes all my life, and that's that's all I want to do. And uh, I want people to know this because I'm the real thing. I, don't, I can't hide. I'm too big to hide. <laughs> I'm 130 kilos, six foot, and I'm a proud man. And I, that's the way I've been raised, and that's why my, kid, my children are raised, and that's how we all are. So thank you, everybody. But above all, I want to thank everybody. I love everybody. And I can't thank them enough for the, the, the support and everything that said. I never thought I was – I'm overwhelmed. I'm I, Beyond, beyond belief. Thank you very much, everyone. Let, let, let me just finish up on that. Yeah. Um, you've heard what he just said. He, he rang me yesterday and asked me. He, he wanted to donate the money. He didn't feel comfortable with, with, with the amount of money that has come in. But, but in saying all that, um, myself, we've, got a, we've formed a little committee. It's an unofficial committee, myself, George Markopoulos, Nick Platanyotis, who's an accountant and an ex-Sydney Olympic player, and Con Pappas, who started the GoFundMe page. And we, we talked to each other and we said, um, first and foremost, we're going to look to get Andrew an eye operation or see what he needs fixed with with his vision. And, and that's all, that's where we're going for first. Um, he doesn't want anything else, but uh, we've decided um, that, we, that we'd like to find him a place to live and... and, and and, and give him a little fresh start. Mm. Um, yeah, people come across hard times. He's had a few little hard times, but nothing that he can't manage. He's, he's a tough old guy. He's a, he's a proud guy. He loves his family, loves his kids to death. He just wants to see his sons. And, and, and um, maybe if we can, you know, help him out, set him up in a nice little place where his, his kids can go and visit him and, and they can stay over or, you know, he, grandchildren or... Or whatever he wants to do. But I promise you one thing, I promise you one thing, I won't let him stay the way he is. Yep. I'll make sure that um, Nick, myself, Con and, and George, we, we will make this money go to good. Um, he will have somewhere good to live. Uh, he'll be happy. Um, as you see, look at the spirit of the man. Yeah, it's, it's there's, fantastic there's no to one, see. There's no spirit like his. No. Like, you know, like he, he comes into a place, he lights up the room, he's so passionate about football, he loves the game, he loves Sydney Olympic. Um, he, he actually loves Marconi too. Oh, <laughs> we know that, we yeah, know that. Like, you know, people the, come up to me at Marconi and say, <laughs> oh, that, Adras, he's he's Marconi. I go, no, he's not. He's Sydney Olympic. <laughs> All right, he's he's Sydney Olympic. He's got group. that secret little spot there. But yeah. he loves he loves to come to our games um, when he can. Like he he's a big Wanderers yeah, man. The Minotaurs, mate. We play we play yeah. Minotaurs. Yeah, he's he's an ex Minotaurs player. So yeah. he, on on Friday we we had a we. We had a barbecue after the match, and um, he he announced the man of the match. Oh, we, yeah. we have a, a little ritual we hold stop, in the dressing stop, room. Stop. You forgot to mention something. He came in half time. The boys played well the first half. They were winning three 0 against Oakley. Half time, got in the dressing rooms. General, the general, you know, the general, yeah, the coach. Yeah, the general, yeah. He said, uh, "I said, Peter, can I say, shut up? Okay, <laughs> you're the coach, Pete. You've invited me over. <laughs> have your say. Let me say something to the boys, please." Anyway, he said what he said. To me, it was relevant because he said the same shit every week. But said, I respect the guys and make my point with him. No, no, just general, no, just respect. I'm sacked now. Yeah, yeah, you got the captain's out of the anyway, team. I said, You're I said, his favourite too, aren't you? I said to the general, he wasn't there. I don't think he was there after. No, no, I, wasn't I said, there. listen, the boys are 45, 50, 55. Hey, Bessart, pull the calf. Spirit looks a bit sore. Don't push him. I said, listen, guys, I'm just here to give you some advice. We're all old here. In a, in a certain way, you killed them in the first half. Just hold the ball a bit longer and let them do the running. You'll score five goals. 
You know what the final score was? Eight and one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you rate it? So, so, look, so, we, so we've had the Man of the Match award and, and, and we, we've got like, amongst ourselves, we've got like a Minotaur's TV. So we just play it to each other. We, oh, yeah, just interviews and yeah, whatever else. Yeah, we just muck yep. around, right? Yep. And so he, he's given the Man of the Match award and we're dying. Like he's killing us. And then, and then the general, out of nowhere, he, he comes and says, oh, I want to... Make a presentation. I said, "Okay, go for it." I said, "George, get the cameras rolling." So Andrea, Andrea sitting there, and he goes, "Okay." He goes, "Some of you guys don't realise that Andreas is an ex Minotaur player. He, he wore the black and white, and he's bled for us." And, and I won um, a few uh, comps too. Yeah, yeah, back in the prehistoric back years, he was a, he was a killer player. So that's what they tell me before I was born. So uh, he 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 got his um, one of his champions of champions medal. And he said, Andrea, you're a champion of champions. So wow, he gave him How good, how good, eh? Hey? So That's he love. And that then we just, we put the Greek music proud. on. We proud moment. We started dancing. Yeah. It was, yeah. Having a good time. Yeah. That's well, what it's about, yeah. But the there wasn't enough vlog in there for everybody. That's the only problem. <laughs> yeah, well, you finished them all. <laughs> you finished them all. <laughs> I had one. I had one to go under me, mate. It wasn't enough to go in, but it was all good, mate. Who, who got you the Savlaki? Who got me as a lucky? Didn't I get you yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, but then I gave one to Spirit outside because he had nothing all day. <laughs> was hungry. <laughs> yeah, so that's what, you know. Uh, yeah. But it's, it must be overwhelming for you. Pete just spoke like then. The, the, the response has been over the last few weeks. Like, oh, yeah. The, the, the football community's come together. and Yeah, it has big time. Yes, yes. So, look, uh, I've got to mention a few other things while we're at it, all right? Yeah, of course. Well, Go, ahead. See, Go see, ahead. He doesn't want it, but it has to be said. So... Um, Jack Zervis, another, another Greek fan of Sydney Olympica, he, a, a lover of the game, he, he's organising a function. And um, later on, I'll give the details, and then you can you can put it on. Yeah, your, we'll post it socials. on all our socials, etc. Post cetera. it on your socials. We're going to do anything you guys well, you know, uh, want, want us you to, want do. to come. But sorry, boys, I want you. I want to invite everyone. Yeah, to it's it's a daytime. It's a daytime function. Okay. You know, so I think there's a few tickets left. I'm sure we can stretch it. Uh, um, I'll give all the details later. See, I didn't come on here with Andrea to talk about Andrea. And Andrew, Andrew. So I didn't want to come on here and talk about raising money or funds or GoFundMe. He didn't want nothing like that. But at the end of the day, people are going out of their way to, to hold a function for him. And I'll tell you some massive names are going to be there, like Rally Rassik's coming. He wants to be there. He yeah. wants to see Andrea. Les Scheinflug's coming. Tony Henderson. And I can go on and name some big names. I'm going to leave them for him to be a surprise because yeah. they all want to come and surprise yeah. him. And so. But they grew up, I mean, they played. Yeah. And he was, like, they would have heard him from the pitch. Yeah. They? Yeah. He was, in the, he was in the stands when they played, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. Massive connection. You know, Rami, yesterday, out of the blue, I've not spoken to him for years, but I respect him a lot. Anyone remember a bloke called Des Martin? Des Martin, oh, yeah. yeah. What, what a, you know what he said to me? I've got a three-bedroom unit, mate, one, bed, uh, one bedroom unit's yours. There you go. I said, what? He said, no, nah, look, mate, I'll, he lives at Kingston somewhere where he, where he lives. Yeah, he lives near me. Uh, uh, does he? Yeah. And I said, no, nah, I live at Fenton West. I want to be near my kids, mate. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate the offer. We'll, we'll catch up. I said, Desi, no, thank you, mate. For your, thank you for your thought, your generosity, and I love, and I love yeah. you, God. Thanks, mate. Look, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more. So people ring and, and message me and they say, can I give you this, can I give you that? Look, guys. We don't want nothing. He doesn't want anything, no. right? And plus, where are we going to put it all? Mm, that's right. The amount of phone calls and offerings, like we were having, uh, I was at a levity, a, a, a yep. Greek place, we were in Dulwich Hill, and, and we were eating, me, Nick, Zoran Illich, and Compapas. And we were, we were sitting there and someone overheard us, a young guy with his family, I can't even remember his name. He walked over and he said, I'm a painter. He goes, I love Andrea. When was this? Huh? You weren't there, man. Oh, when was this, I said? On, on, on Thursday. Okay. So, so a painter. He just walked up to me and said, whatever needs painting, he goes, here's my number and I'll come and paint it. I said, I oh, yeah. really appreciate it. Thank you. He goes, man, we all love Andrea. What a man. You know, like they all sing yeah. the fans. Yeah. They, from they all e eras. You know, uh, yeah. So that's 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 what we've been getting. I'll, I'll just mention a couple other guys from Melbourne. Um, uh, Peter Tsalakis. He mentioned. He he rang me. He he messaged me. Said, oh, um, "Can I donate?" I said, "Yes, of course you can." I gave him the details. And he said to say that he coming. He, he's no. He said to say he loves you. Right. And um, 
all the people in Melbourne love you. Uh, they're Anastasiada's brothers, Dean hey. and, and John. <laughs> they, and John. They, they both sent an email to to say I just they love you. I just put something on that because I forget. See United play Heidelberg, I think last year, the year before, in the Cup. Yeah, FA Cup. FFA Cup. Two years ago, I think it's yeah. United. And I was I met some boys from that I knew from Melbourne. There's about maybe three thousand people there. Yeah. About hundred of us shouting for Heidelberg. And uh, George Tavalakis, anyone know George Tavalakis? Yeah. He says, what do you shout for Alexandra Malaga? And I'll be upset. <laughs> 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 the Greek fucking blood flows here, you wanker, and you're somehow united. You know what I mean? Sorry. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> I was that loud. <laughs> That Billa, the, the Billa's got a big voice at the city and I go, ah, gee, I go. And then when I started going, I can, I can go above anybody, Yeah, mate. of course. A hundred of us. I think they heard us at bloody at the shops of Fairview or something. Wow. Like, screaming, ah, ah, legs, ah, dross, you know? Right? Yeah, yeah. And that, because to me, Alexander is a, is a monument, man. Greek history, you know what I mean? It means yeah. a lot. It's called Big Alexander. Yeah, Alexander, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I got the boys re- that revved up. <laughs> he was just something else, man. You went there that night, were you? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, or was that my own game, so? <laughs> <laughs> but why weren't you there, Fleet? <laughs> so the, the brothers, Anastasiata's brothers, yep. Yep. in the email they wrote how you um, jumped in front of a bus <laughs> that was coming into a ground and you stopped the bus and you said... In South Melbourne. Yeah. Brother, man, brother man Stadium. South Melbourne come and played my county grand final. Yeah. I walked in front of the bus I said, get down, we'll fight the South Melbourne. <laughs> he stopped the bus. And <laughs> he stopped the bus. <laughs> so they they mentioned that and, and he they both wanted to say, you know, you ever need anything, they're there to support you too. You know, so there's been an overwhelming and big, uh, if, amount of support. Can I mention something? We, me and my uncle Paul, he's passed away now, Paul Batucci, he used to own all the florist, Waratah florist shops, four of them. Yeah. He's like, let's talk. He used to say, hey, where are you? He was, he's a great man. He gave a lot of money to charity. Top of the shop. A gentleman. We used to fly, he used to take me to Melbourne with him a lot of times. And I remember one year, it would be 20 years ago, we had a Greek weightlifter. His name was Piros Dimas. He won five gold medals at the Olympics. Yeah, I remember him. But yeah. he, he came from northern Epirus, which is part of Greece. It, it was Albania. And he was persecuted his family because... Uh, and he goes, when I got worth the green, I'm in my suit, about 20 years ago. I said, Uncle Paul, I'm going to do something, man, I don't care what happens. As the dignitaries walked on the ground halfway, I got it, I got there, I picked him up, I put him on my shoulders. I said, alas, alas. I was front page of Greek paper, I think, I some Aussie paper the next day in Melbourne. To me, it meant a lot. I love the guy, he done it for his country, for his people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so many other things I've done. But it don't want to be all about me. It's about the game and the, and the people who love the game and people who love the, the things, you know what I mean? And those con- we've had those conversations tonight, you know. You've, just, you've yeah. told us all about, you know, how, the, your favourite players and all that sort of stuff. So, And there'll be plenty of conversations going on further, no doubt, Fleet. Well, you we'll, can find me every week. I'll give you a bit. I've been put every week if you want. Yeah, yeah. will <laughs> 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 have his own show. Before you know it, he'll yeah, have yeah. his own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I won't take up the show now, mate. They boys are doing a good job. <laughs> so, Fleet, we'll, we'll, we'll post all that stuff on, on no social worries. media and we'll no put worries. up the dates and, and all that. And, um, sure. look... Seva, it's been like the the stories. We started it to go nostalgia. We went nostalgia. We went back. Where'd we go back to the 60s uh, tonight? Even the 50s. Huh? <laughs> maybe, maybe even further. Right, so... You, you forgot something. Go. In the 50s and 60s, there used to be an old man, a real old man, he must have been, I think it was Hungarian. There's a, soccer, a paper called The Soccer World, Green Pages, about eight Green Pages. It cost about a dollar, but it was all about soccer. It was called Soccer World. It used to come around and go, Soccer World. And my dad used to buy it and give it to me because in English. And uh, I'll never forget that. And, uh, and there was the other the, the people who used to sell, the seven brothers sold peanuts. Peanuts! That's on the ground. <laughs> before, six, our six, yeah, before, before our time. Before our time. Sticks in your mind, you know? Yeah, yeah. And a lot of other things. Sorry, boys. Huh? No, I'm don't, saying, uh, don't be sorry. And, that's, and look, that's why we've got you on tonight is for those stories, mate. So we want you to keep going and, yeah. and, 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 and all that. But I'm forever, sweet. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> we love, we love Don't this. Stop the bus, mate. Keep going. <laughs> so, Flea, thank you for bringing on Andrea, Andrew in, in for us tonight. And um, that's we, been a pleasure. We uh, we hope you enjoyed coming on our podcast tonight because we certainly uh, 
we're, we, we, we loved having you on and you, you're taking us down the path that you led us down tonight. And we hope you enjoyed coming on and telling those stories, mate. So I'm sure there's more stories to come and uh, we'd love to have you back to, uh, to fill in some more stories for us. Right. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know how to thank you guys, but uh, I don't talk about myself anymore because you just put enough in there. But if you go back a few years, the first YouTube that I saw about myself was with Les Murray and Andy Pescalini. Has anyone got that? I watched that about two weeks ago. There's about ten, there's about half a dozen. Can you look it up? Yep. Yeah, we and will. Because my, what happened, when comes to this country, I was 12 and a half. Yeah. For 24th of February, 1964, 65. Finished first year, first year high school in Greece. Yeah. But because of politi political unrest in Greece, that beautiful home, it's four stories now. Dad sold it for peanuts. His brother was here, said, Stan, sell everything. If you got five kids, the eldest of five, because they only killed my father because of politics, you know? Yeah. He came here, Dad didn't know the language, but he made, made good. He became a boss at uh, uh, James Hardy, but he died uh, as best stage in 1981. Uh, uh, right. Mum and I got nothing, and my mother got given the character and so on. But what I want to, the point I'm trying to make here, my, my dad, I was picked up. For, First year high school in Greece, in, in, in Sydney, oh, Greenville Boys High School, I went there. First and second year high school, I was playing six formers. And I played Tasman Cup team, we lost to Burrigal 1-0. And then I got picked for the sta state, and then I played the, I was supposed to go overseas with the Jovies. Yeah, okay. My father, my parents the son. My father signed the papers, my mother didn't. Oh, <laughs> no. No, that cut me. God rest mum and dad. But I... At that time, that teacher, Mr. Norman, said, you, you could be anything. And I was good, but a lot of the people judged me. And that's maybe what, why I'm so passionate. That's all I'm going to say. Thanks, guys. Uh, before we go, guys, uh, we've got our, one of our sponsors, sponsors here, mate. mate. We've got a shirt for Andrea as well. <laughs> so that'll be Flea, Andrea. Thanks. Thanks. That's yours. Thank you very much. And, and Andrea, we just want you to know that you are a legend of Australian football. Players come and go, but definitely you, um, you've you stood the test of time, mate. Everyone knows you. Everyone loves you all the way around Australia. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that have witnessed you, what you do in the stands and the colour, the flair, the passion that you bring. Um, so anytime you do need anything, we know that you are very, very self-reliant and you don't you, you don't you don't want the, the, the spotlight. But, but, no, no. but you know where to go now, right? If you ever need anything, hopefully we can shine a light on you and um, and look we are all about mental health as well. We all have our, our yeah, ups and downs, am I right, Hedo? Absolutely Flea? we yep. do. Absolutely. So if you you need absolutely anything, you know where to call. You've got everyone's number and that and it was an absolute pleasure having you on, eh? Like it's it's you you are exactly what this podcast is about and um, hopefully all of Australia gets to see that. That's I just want the last word if I can, if I may. Absolutely. Uh, and you boys have heard of Laurie Nichols at all? God rest his soul. Yes. He was the he yep. was a, he was uh, the Andrea of Belmont Tigers. <laughs> he was. And I think as Murray said, there was a guy in Brazil, a guy in Africa, and a guy in Europe, and me in Australia. And they reckon. Discipline wise, I was the loudest of all of them. I don't know, but I'm just saying what Les Murray said. And God rest his soul too. They would know, eh? Yeah, they, they would know. They would know. They would they know. Would, I went to Cyprus and I scared myself because my wife came from Cyprus. Oh, Fifteen thousand people. I, I screamed it, and my voice hit the other side. Came back. That, that scared me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everyone hears on the sideline every week, mate. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you, mate. It's been a pleasure, mate. We'll just round it oh, off with uh, <laughs> Andrew, the original Sydney Olympic legend. Thanks for coming in, and the once. King of Mykonos, Flea. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you again. Yeah. Thanks for and coming back in, Flea. Yeah, it's thanks. a pleasure coming on this program. I, um, I'm sure I you'll it. be back on. Uh, I hope so. Yeah, yeah we'll be on. Uh, Flea, don't stress. We've got some more. You want more? Yeah. You want to be back on too? Oh, you, you, want you want to come, come back on? on? I'm done. But we're going to have the Flea. We're going to have Flea in our dryer show. Yeah? <laughs> huh? Imagine. Whenever you're ready. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. All right, but so we, we hope <laughs> we're not, not going to take over your show. We're going to help out. <laughs> All right, so we hope everyone at, at home enjoyed that and, and got the stories from an absolute legend and a supporter of Australian football, Sever. It's yep. uh, it, it's what we started it for. Yeah, and you would have remembered all those stories, right? Yeah, I, I, I love the bloke. I love the guy. He's um, yeah. <laughs> Can't say much more about him, mate. Just absolute legend of our game. And uh, look, this podcast. 
Can't go ahead without all our wonderful sponsors. So, uh, mate, uh, visit letsbemates.com.au for all your NBN and phone needs. Um, MG Active, keeping server in shape. Andre, he looks pretty fit at the moment, doesn't he? Huh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> MG Active, keeping him, in fa- uh, keeping him in shape, sorry. Ignify Legal, buying or selling your property and needing expert legal advice. Contact Dean and the team from Ignify Legal on 8823-3309. And Flea, you can vouch for yeah, Ian and the team yeah, at Ignify fantastic. Legal. Fantastic. Yeah, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't go wrong with them guys. They know what they're doing. And we can't thank you enough. The planning station, uh, get a Maeve on our socials, Facebook and Instagram for any party needs. Uh, Maeve can do whatever you want. Yep, she's a, she's a legend there. Now, our, uh, our sponsor, DS Tipping and Excavations. Uh, Flea and Andre, you'll love this yeah. one. So, you know, obviously, uh, DS Tipping and Excavations now being labelled the best lay in Penrith. New South Wales. <laughs> oh, he's coming to New South Wales. Well, Australia. So. Australia. <laughs> Greece. Well, Asia. Well. Asia. Asia. <laughs> Southeast Asia. Well, that's where we're headed, fair dinkum. And Jeff Lambert, who keeps this podcast uh, up and running each week. So if you're looking to start a podcast, you know what he does for us. He makes us look good every week. He keeps us going. So get in Thank contact you very with, much, Jeff. with Jeff Lambert. Visit jefflambert.com.au or get him on his socials, Instagram, Facebook. So, Seba, Another how good? Day, brother. Andrea, the, the original Simbi- Sydney Thanks Olympic Andrea. legend. Thank you for The me. once king of Thank Econos you Fleet. Thank, Thank you, Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, boys. I appreciate it. Much appreciated. Please like and subscribe our YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything that we're doing. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.